Scientists say they've genetically altered a strain of common E. coli bacteria to change its diet from sugar to carbon dioxide. So far, it's just a proof of concept, but they hope this research will eventually enable them to produce carbon-neutral fuel, the goal for a more environmentally sustainable future. E. coli are bacteria that can be found in the human body and foods. Some strains of E. coli can cause an upset stomach, vomiting, and diarrhea. In serious cases, E. coli poisoning can result in death. But scientists say these pathogenic bacteria could be the key to producing environmentally sustainable fuel. So we engineer those bacteria uh, to use CO2 as their feedstock instead of sugars. This was the first time that in science such a transformation uh, took place of converting a, an organism that is capable of only consuming sugar in, into an organism that uh, consumes CO2 in order to produce its biomass. Normally, E. coli feed on sugars and emit carbon dioxide. Scientists spent a year modifying the bacteria with different genes. They eventually found a gene that allows E. coli to get energy from the formate molecule. Successive generations of the genetically modified E. coli were eventually fed up to 250 times the concentration of CO2 found in the Earth's atmosphere. With nothing else to eat, the bacteria adapted to feed on CO2. We set up a, a special uh, evolutionary regime for this bacteria. We basically wanted to give them just a little bit sugar to enable initial growth uh, and then keep them uh, for a long period in a starvation state for sugar but on the other hand uh, constantly provide them uh, with plenty of CO2 and plenty of a molecule called formate which serves as the energy source for this uh, bacteria. And then, uh, after a few months of evolving the bacteria in, in such conditions, uh, we were able to isolate bacteria that uh, no longer needed uh, sugar at all in order to survive. E. coli are easily found and reproduced, making them the preferred bacteria for the production of vaccines, insulin, growth hormones, and biofuels. Scientists say their CO2-absorbing E. coli could help reduce greenhouse gases. This could be... Uh, progressed even more in, into actual solutions that will be used both in the industry but also in the uh, agriculture uh, to create more food and also try to, uh, to tackle uh, greenhouse gas emissions. While this E. coli strain does consume CO2, researchers say it still produces more gas than it eats. More work is needed to create a strain that's truly carbon neutral.